Hey guys, welcome back to Kuber TV, where we last left off, we were about to scan for activity. We've pretty much done everything we can on our base, we can't really purchase anything else, we're still researching. So the only thing we can do is scan for activity. Three more days and our thin man autopsy will be done. Ten more days for our laboratory and it's eleven days for our council report. So let's scan for activity. And now it's the thin man research, so now assign new project, but then we'll get told. So the thin man autopsy, so you can read through this, tells you all about uh, large pots, but the enormous glands to produce toxins, etc. So now we go back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to interrogate the Thin Man. The reason for this is we can get bonus fees for inter interrogating him. So we're going to interrogate the Thin Man. So there's a wee cutscene. And then we'll continue on with the clock. So scanning for activity. Four days, hopefully we'll get that in for our mission. So, oh, our vet, the excavation was complete, so we'll be hitting the engineering so, place right after this. how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought patterns several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. So basically what she's saying there is, is our next kind of sort of submission is to capture one of those dudes alive. So let's click on our search project. So capture an outsider aliens our new objective and here we go. By interrogating this one, UF technology research credit earned. So when we're obviously researching Uf UFO technology, we get a bonuses and a credit. So that's quite cool. So we come back to research and now we can research something else. We've got four things here. Sectob uh, Octorpsy, which will take four days. Caprice Armour, which is still quite slow. Experimental Warfare. Although all around stunning unit is still limited, we've seen as far enough revolutions come out and we know. If we're able to level the playing field, we must be adapting intentionally for our use. So I think what we're going to do with this one is that that takes you down a laser weapon course so i'm not in any desperate need for that i think our play i think we'll go with the do we go with the armor i mean it's still 14 days no we'll wait till our labs up and running before we go for the armor we'll get the experimental warfare on the go for just now i think, believe that's us researching the, the weapons of the Rest enemies so we've still got three days for our labs which is quite cool that'll speed that up as well so back to mission control Scan for activity, and here we go. We've got another abduction site, so let's view the abduction sites. So, here we go. We've got three choices we can go to Brazil, which is a difficult one, but we'll get four scientists out of it, Russia, which is moderate, and we'll get four engineers, or Egypt, which is 200, and that's difficult. So, before we even do that, let's come out of this, go back to our situation room, and have a look. So, Brazil's okay. What was Egypt like? Let's have a look. Let's find Egypt. Uh, Egypt is here, that's okay, and what was the last one? I think it was Russia, wasn't it? So that was one. So they're all at one, so it doesn't really matter which one we choose, because they're all minimum. So let's have a look. And what do we want? Do we want the money? We're about to get quite a bit of scientists anyway from doing it. I think we'll just go with the money. It is a difficult mission, but I'm quite happy about that. I'm not too fussed. I think we've got what can handle it, and we get 200 bucks. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll go that way. So here we go. This is back to our team now. So, uh, we've got, well, hold on, if I just check something, back to the briefing, back, because we want to go to our barracks, officer training school, no, I still can't get a new guy, we, we squad size, we still need a captain before we can get that, we've got plenty of money though, which is a shame, so we can't upgrade anymore, so back to the mission, alien abductions, the one that was 200 bucks, confirm. So, let's have a look at our team, right, she's got the medikit. We need to throw in a noob here, because we want a noob. So I'm actually going to probably get rid of our sniper person. Now, I'm not a big fan of the sniper at the moment, so we'll get rid of her. And we're going to bring in a noob. So we'll bring in... Let's have a look, who will we bring in? Let's bring in... 
don't make Andre. So we'll bring her in. It's another woman. And uh, get into your wonderful pinkness. Do, 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 do. Pink. Excellent. Load out. Now she is going to take the arc thrower because she's going to be our dude that we want to try and capture and things. Let's check everybody else. We've got two people with medikits, which I'm quite happy about. This guy's got a frag grenade, which I'm also quite happy about. So there we go. Let's launch the mission. Dropship has arrived. So land in here. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. We picked up a local broadcast. In Don't read too much of that. So let's get this wee bit cut in. Just the ship one You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Let's just give it a quick save here. Save game. And we'll just save over our last one that was there. Save. Right. What we're doing here then. Let's have a look. Let's take our... Let's have a look. So what are we on? We've got a big motorway. So lots of cars. And lots of cars can blow up. So that's not cool. So I think we're going to go down this side. We're going to just go... Straight down the flank here. So let's bolt this guy. He's going to be quite exposed there, which is a bit annoying. So I think we're just going to take our time for the first turn. Let's just not charge straight up. Oh well, we've exposed a couple of aliens already. Didn't really want to charge straight up there, but at least we now see where the aliens are. So there's two alien dudes hiding over here. So let's just drop him in Overwatch. Let's bring our heavy up to. That's out of his zone, which is a bit annoying. So let's bring him up to here. And go on to Overwatch. Let's take our running gun. Now, our running gun, can she get far up? No, she can't get that far up. Let's take her up to over here. So, we're going to run and gun over to here. And hopefully, we'll be able to get a shot on one of these guys. If not, I can at least go on Overwatch. So, yeah, see, we can see one of them. So, we're going to take a shot at that guy. So, he's in half cover. So, I'm going to open fire. Nice. I wish I'd killed, uh, wish I'd killed him, but that'll do. It's a good start. Let's run him or her up to here. Damn, I was really hoping to be able to see. Can't see him still, which is a bit annoying. He's a bit, just about out of range, right? And our noob, our noob's just going to charge. That's still a bit exposed. Let's just charge our noob up to here. A little bit clumped up here, so I'm a little bit worried about that, but can't do too much about it. Let's go and overwatch in case anybody moves out of the way. So I got a little bit of cover. So there's that alien coming down there. I really want to capture one of these dudes. So he's going on an overwatch, which is interesting. What's this dude doing? He's going to scatter, right? So there we go. Overwatch dude. Big heavy's going to take shots. And I think everybody that was on overwatch has just missed, which is tremendous. Because there were two people shooting there. So that dude's scattered over to there, which is kind of interesting. And he's going to take a shot at our noob. Nope. He's taking a shot over one of our salts. So this car's on fire, so we need to get away from this car. ASAP. So... We've got a dude over here, right, so let's have a look, what can we do here, right, let's click on this boy, let's move this boy to still a bit exposed, but he's also exposed, so I'm going to risk it, move this guy over to here, oh, I forgot he's on overwatch, so I'm going to take some damage here to the face, yeah, that hurt, not happy about that, but that's fine, we we're just going to not even worry about this dude doing anything silly, we're just going to launch a grenade, can we get a grenade, no, it's not going to be far enough, Alright, can't throw a grenade at this guy, so we'll just open fire. Yes, we've taken him down, that's cool, which means his cover's now safe. Right, let's just bolt our heavy... No, I don't know. Let's bolt our heavy behind here, keep them covered, get away from the car. Let's open fire on... Well, how far can the noob get? Not too far, but we'll get the noob up to here. Oh, I've just revealed two more aliens. That's not cool. Got three aliens to deal with now, which is a little bit of a bummer. But she can at least take a shot at this guy. Misses. Well done. Well done, noob. She can also take a shot at that guy, so that's what I'm going to do. See if we can get him down. Nope, she missed as well. That's a bit disappointing since he was only on one health. I really would have preferred. But we've still got one more boy to move. Or one more bird. So she's going to come right up to here as well. Get away from that car. And she's also going to open fire on that dude. Yes, she got on through the car bullets. And that car blows away, but we've got away from it. Bring the mic a little bit closer. 
So it's an alien's goal, so what are they doing? He's going to use his telekinesis powers on this dude to make him a little bit better. I should actually work out what to tell you. I think it, well, it looks like he's got an extra hit point, that's for sure, because he's gone up to four. That's kind of cool that he's moved right up to there. And um, not cool that he's taking damage, but I'm hoping he's now in range of her. Will he be in range of her now? That would be really cool if he is. Oh, sweet. He's now just moved into range. So we're going to risk it, get right up to there and try and stun this boy. Uh, we have just revealed two more aliens, which is, well, not the greatest. So let's see if we can stun him. What's our chances? It's only a 49% chance. Hmm. Hmm. See, now this is a question. I mean, I could take a pot shot with my pistol here and take it down. But then that means I'm not going to be able to take anybody out over there. And she's going to be pretty exposed. But she is my noob, so I don't really care. So let's go a pistol. It's a bit, maybe a bit risky, but I really want to capture this alien. So we'll take a pot shot with the pistol. Yeah, but we'll get one damage. Ooh. Right, let's just check what the stun rate is now. See, it's a 70% chance. So I prefer that, so let's go for it. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, useless son of a... God damn it. Really had hoped that would have worked. Oh, well. Those are the brakes. So she needs to move up to here. And let's get a shot off on... Let's see if we can take this guy out. If we can take him out, we'll kill the other guy anyway. Yeah, so we get we'll kill the boy that was in front of us anyway. Which is a bit annoying. I'd really want to stun her. She's now standing in the middle of the open. So there's a good chance she's going to be dead. Right, let's bring this guy up to here. And let's just place him on overwatch. Let's get our heavy right over to here. So our noob is in a bad, bad, bad position just standing out in the open. And I thought, I really hope that stun would work. It was at 70%. I'm a little bit disappointed in him. So, ah, you missed. Come on, miss as well. Miss as well. That'd be great. Miss as well. Miss. Miss. Yes! They've both missed. Even though she's standing there with no cover, they've both missed her. Missed her. Excellent. Right, well, now that just tells me I'm going to get into cover over here. Let's take a shot at one of them. 65%. I'll take a shot at the guy at the back, actually. And she takes him out. Nice. Still wanted to capture one of these dudes, but, well, beggars can't be choosers, I suppose. Right, let's just keep edging this guy up to here. Just making sure there's nothing along this line, so it looks pretty clear at the moment. Right, let's move our heavy up to... Well, he can go on top of there, but I don't think so. Let's move him up to here. He now gets line of sight, so let's open fire on this little dude. It looks like we've taken him out. Yep, yeah, that's him gone. Bam! So, we've still got some aliens kicking around, so let's just start bringing our team up a little bit. She's the one that's, she's taking a bit of a knock, so we'll just bring her up to here. She can heal herself, I suppose, if we need to, but we're not too fussed about that just now. Let's just go to Overwatch. And let's bring her up to behind these cars. I'm still not happy about having cover behind cars, but it's the best thing at the moment. Hopefully we've still got an opportunity to capture another alien. So let's have a look. Let's use this guy. Can he get to there? No, he's going to have to dash if he wants to get to there. So let's move him up to here first. Okay, so we're coming into a few more alien pod things here. This looks like a big area. So, let's just leave him on overwatch there. It's going to be a bit risky. Let's move her up to here. Yep, yeah, there we go. There's a couple more aliens. They're going to bolt around up here. Sectoids. So she could now take a pot shot one of them, so we'll do that. Oh, schoolboy, she's still got the pistol equipped. Oops. So there we go, there's another mistake. So let's charge, I'm going to charge her right up to here. Or here, no, we'll charge her right up. Get her noob. Charge! She's going to go right up, let's see if we can get close enough to these dudes. Right, let's get her heavy up to here first. Does he get line of sight? He does get line of sight. So he can at least take a pot shot at this dude. Excellent. Get rid of one of the aliens. That's nice. Dead in the water here. Right. Let's run her around to this side. I need to come around this side, get some flanking on the go, bring up some of our people around this way. So it's now we've only got the one alien up here, but there probably will be more. I'm expecting there'll be more aliens. He's running to cover here, which is a little bit annoying because I really want to get her around. But he's missed her again. 
That car is now on fire though. So let's have a look. Where can we go? Can we get anywhere near this guy? No, we'd have to bolt right up. Is it worth it? Screw it. Let's go for it. Fantastic. Let's move this guy to here. You can then see that. I can't suppress him though. I can throw a smoke grenade and give her cover. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw a smoke grenade to give her cover. We'll move our heavy right up to in here. Oh no 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 no! Well that was just stupid. Totally forgot this car's on fire. So our heavy's about to get um, uh, a little bit injured by the looks of things. <laughs> Oops! Uh, let's have a look. Swap to the pistol and take a pot shot at the dude. It's probably the play. Let's see if we can injure him. It's only 21% though. But if we can get a hit. No, I can't get any hits on him. Bring a last dude up to here, probably do the same with her but she's already on her pistol so take a shot at this guy hopefully not killing him but we miss him as well, all this just to capture Neil, so that's going to blow up and hurt our heavy dude so ouch, he took a lot of damage there as you can see and now this car's on fire as well that's good that he's taking a shot and missed so we can now bolt round, right so let's see if we can get round and get this guy so let's turn the camera and go around a little bit just so we can get a better position we'll move up against the wall here Let's have a look, what is it? It's at 70%, but I'm not happy about that just yet. So, this car's on fire, so I'm going to run up to here and shoot this guy in the head. Yep, there we go, there's two. So now if I do the stun, it should be a lot better. So it's a 90% chance. So let's stun this guy. Come on, yes, he's down. Excellent. And there we go, there's a mission, we didn't have to move anyone away from the cars, so we killed 8 aliens and we captured one, we got that sector that we are after and we lost no operatives, but I think a few people got injured, I think our heavy is going to be out for a good few days with that car exploding beside him. Back to our mission control, so here we go, oh yeah, he's out for 9 days, she's out for 8 days and she's out for 6 days, so that was quite a bad round for the, the damages, but anyway, he's been given a promotion. So we've got Heat Ammo, confers 100% damage against robotic enemies, or Rapid Overwatch. If he's in Overwatch and the first one hits, you get to shoot again. But we're going for the Heat, because that's really good against the big robots that will come into the game later on. Move on to this guy, this is our new bit, she just got promoted, so she's also an Assault person. And another person, so he's got the Sprint, or he's got Covering. It allows a reaction shot to trigger on enemy attacks, not just movement. So I think we will go with that with him. But they're all injured, so they're all going to be missing the next another mission. So we can now interrogate a sectoid. We picked up another plasma pistol, seven sectoid corpses, one captive, and 14 weapon fragments. We also got 200 bucks for it, but panic has increased across Europe and South America. So if we come over to our situation room and click on it, we'll see, yeah, see Brazil's really upset and Russia's really upset. So we've got to be careful that doesn't go up too high, or we'll have to hopefully get a mission there. But we can hopefully get some satellites up soon. We have finished our, es er, er, war, a excavating a down here, so I can now build our, so here we'll build our thermal generator, which costs 200 bucks, but we just earned 200 bucks there, so we'll build that, and up here we are going to build, what do we need for a satellite link? Like, we need 10 engineers, so we've not got enough engineering staff at the moment. How many engineers do we have currently? We have currently, where does I find that out again? Five engineers. So, can I build a workshop yet? No, I still can't build a workshop. So we need more engineers. So maybe the mission there should have been to go for the engineers actually, but not not to worry. Nothing we can do about that just now. We can't build any more items or anything we need to build. No, just a satellite, no weapons. Build some medikits, but we don't need them, so we're fine. So there we go guys, we'll finish this video here. And the next video will continue on with the game. Kubert TV, shining out.